And every community had a blacksmith. Blacksmiths in some of the African countries were shaman. I mean, they were making magic things happen. What I do on a lot of days is light the forge and put a bar of steel in it, and I bring it out and I hammer it by hand on an anvil. I mean, that has been going on for centuries. I don't have that skill set that an armor maker in the Etruscan era, 500 BC, was making bronze armor. But I can bring other things that are contemporary in my work, forms that they may not have seen or may not have been able to realize. In the late 60s, Brent Kington started a program at Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. And that really was sort of the start of the contemporary American blacksmithing movement. It's been interesting to be in this field for 20 years and to see some of the changes that have gone on as far as what people are making. It almost seems quaint these days because everything is inspired by the industrial landscape, but you know, I've been inspired by the industrial landscape for most of my career, so I'm not gonna change that. What I try to do is infuse some kind of warmth to that cold industrial look, and I think that's where the forging of the steel and this nice fluid lines and graceful curves can really add something to that industrial look. What makes my work my work is that hopefully there's a consistency of form and line and shape and attention to detail. The more recent work that I've been doing are certainly inspired and influenced by the bridges that I see here in Cleveland. Those forms are so beautiful. The rivets, the trusses, and the cross-sections of things just find it really fascinating. I'm also interested in this architecture, whether it's from the industrial architecture of some of these buildings that were built you know, in the late 1800s to some of the more contemporary buildings. I think anybody who forges steel, what they love the most about it is the plasticity of the material. When this stuff is hot, it moves just like clay would. There's just something that's really fulfilling about putting a piece of metal into the fire and, and hammering it into a shape. You can't really add or take anything away from that and still have it be that object. And I suppose that's always the goal when I'm making something. How do I pare this down to what needs to be there and not much more? I like the physicality of it. I like that this really hard material, you have to be physical with it, but there's a certain grace and beauty that you can have within that material. Once you've put in that time and you think in that material, then it becomes really interesting what you're gonna do. Picasso had a nice quote. Inspiration hits, but it has to find you working.